How's it going everyone? Uh, it's Isaiah from Nerf for Hire. Today we're going to be working on an Xbox One controller. Uh, I picked this up from the thrift store Saturday. Uh, pretty good deal. Nothing really wrong with it except for it needs a new thumbstick and since I'm going to be replacing one I might as well replace the other. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start tearing this thing apart. So what you'll need to start off with is a T9 bit and that's pretty much the standard that Xbox uses for all their consoles and controllers which is nice one bit for all and you're gonna need something to take the controller apart so there's a total of five screws on these controllers uh, Two of them are hidden behind the back plate, the other one is hidden behind the sticker, so you will have to bust the sticker off if you don't want to do that. Sorry. So, to get the back plates off, the gap, just get a pry tool, shove it in there, and it feels like you're going to bust it, but you can if you're not careful enough. Just kind of pry it, break it off, and keep working around. There we go. So you got one off there. The other one. There we go. First time you do this, it will always be difficult, but it gets easier the more you go on. It's got these little snap uh, tabs there. Hold it on. There's quite a few, so. Now we can see the screws, two here, two here, I'll hide them for you. And there's still a hidden one. So we're just gonna, so we're just gonna bust through, it's right in the middle. Bust through on that, open it up. Get the screwdriver in. Keep your screws in the same spots too. Don't want to lose them. <clears throat> there we go. So this screw is out, it's just still kind of in there. If you bust the sticker all the way, you can get the sticker out, but I ain't too worried about it because that's all we need to get to. Just the faceplate. These are pretty simple. Pull the stick off, pull the stick off, set them aside, get my new sticks, put them on. They can only go one way. Well, they can go two ways, but if you feel like you're forcing it, just twist it until you feel it kind of set in place. Push them in. Face plate goes back on, just like that. Spin it around. you will put your screws back in. Back plate one. Much better looking. Much better feeling. Put the snaps on. Or snap the sides back into place. And it's all good. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wipe down just to clean it up a little bit so I can resell it, but 
that's that. If you guys liked the video, learned anything new, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.